Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all having an amazing day. In today's video, I will be showing you how I brush my rabbits. Now I brush my rabbits every single week as part of my weekly rabbit room cage cleaning routine. That's what I just find works really well for me. I will clean their main cage and then I will leave them locked here in their little porch area. I'll go ahead and brush them and then put them back in their main cage so I can basically clean their porch area. So that way I can clean up all the hair right after I brush them. And I'm also making sure I am brushing my rabbits frequently and checking on them. Also while I'm doing this brushing, I will check their nails and kind of look at their butt, make sure that you know, they didn't sit and pee. I don't know why my rabbits always have like poop stuck to their butt or they were sitting in pee. It does happen, so that's always something I just like to check to make sure my rabbits are all clean and healthy and nothing's going wrong. No unexpected bumps, nothing like that. Now some people will brush the rabbits more often than once a week. They might do it a couple times a week or even daily, but it is critical that you do it often. Definitely during molting season, and I have definitely learned my lesson. Lollipop has been in GI stasis twice now, both during molting, and I'm pretty sure it was probably just hair stuck in her GI track. I just only brushed about every other week, so now we're to every week. Hopefully that will make the GI stasis you know, never occur again. I'm sure it will, but we're just going to do it as frequently as possible. During molting, I will sometimes do it about twice a week. Just whatever works best for you, do it as frequently as possible. Make sure your rabbit is nice and healthy. Now today we will be using the Hair Buster. This is probably one of the most popular rabbit brushes out there. I think it's about $20. I will leave it linked down in the description below, and it is definitely worth the price. It works so well with your rabbit. I don't think any other brush compares when it comes to brushing your Rabbit. So this is what I will be using here today. Now let's go ahead and head into their little porch area and give them a brush in. Now Lollipop always seems to know what's coming and she always hides underneath this chair when it's time to brush her. Don't worry, I'm not hurting her, but this is how I do brush them. I just keep them on the floor and I apply some light pressure to their head slash back of their neck. Now I'm always comforting them and I'm not applying that much pressure. She kind of looks like a pancake here, but she's really just being over dramatic. Now I know some people will put their rabbit on a table or on their lap when they're brushing to try to keep them from running away, but I find that this method doesn't really work for me because Lollipop is super sassy and if she was on like the top of a table she would just jump away and literally jump off the table. So if your bunny is anything like mine this is definitely the safest way to do it and the least stressful. If she would hop away you know she's already on the ground she's not gonna hurt herself. And here you can see really just how much hair I am getting out of Lollipop and while I'm brushing her I'll just pick it out with my fingers and just start making a little pile. While you're brushing, it's important to just follow their body, to not be poking them with the brush, and to be gentle. If there's any mats or snags, don't just pull as you are pulling your rabbits first. So just be careful and keep an eye out for those types of things. I have had mats before where I actually had to cut the rabbit's fur. And I'll just continue to brush her until I'm not getting much more hair out of her. And then once I'm done brushing her, the hair buster does loosen a lot of fur. So I'll just rub her back and just get a bunch of those loose furs out. And now she's all done being brushed. And since she's all done being brushed, I'll go ahead and check her nails. And while I was checking her nails, I did notice that they were being a little bit long. So I will have to go ahead and cut those this week. I will leave a video linked up in the iCards above about how exactly I cut my rabbit's nails. And it's definitely a two person job. Oh my, as you can see, Lollipop is definitely a feisty one. So I'm just calming her down here so I can check her butt. Doesn't look like anything's wrong. So she is good to go and she is happy to be done with her grooming session. And now it's Cocoa Puff's turn. He is a lion head, so that does mean he has longer hairs. So I usually have to be extra careful about not pulling his fur because he usually does have mats around his butt. Luckily this time there was not a single mat, hallelujah. So I didn't really have to worry about pulling too much. And he's usually a pretty good boy about being groomed. One thing about having a lion head though is you do need to make sure that you are brushing out their mane as that is really a high spot for mats because it'll get wet when they're drinking water and then it will just clunk up and get all matted and nasty. I ended up getting about two brushfuls from both Cocoa Puff and Lollipop and as you can see here I'm again brushing him to make sure there's no loose furs and then time to check his butt. 
Now Coco Puff usually does have some sort of poop stuck to his butt. As you can see, I literally picked off two turds. I don't know why. I think it's just because there's so much fluff near his butt. It just kind of sticks there. So I always help him out with that. Make sure that there's no mats and that he's all good to go. And I also check his nails and it looks like he also needs to have his nails clipped. And then he is all done. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, maybe you learned something new, and if you did enjoy it, make sure you leave us a like down below, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys in my next video. And remember, live life to the fullest.